All right, guys, it's your spiritual kickoff of the week. I hope you're ready. So we're going to be in the book of Hebrews, okay? Book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 10. Only looking at one verse. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and through whom are all things, in bringing many sons to glory to perfect the the originator of salvation through sufferings. So guys, again, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 10. Let's unpack this. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see how we can apply this and have a better understanding. Now, first thing you need to understand is where's the book of Hebrews, right? You need to really get that one down. So what we got to do is go to your New Testament, get through your Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke and John, and then get through Paul's letters, okay? Then you're going to hit Hebrews. So if you go to James, you went too far. <laughs> so if you went to James or Peter, you went too far. Uh, it's right after uh, Philemon there, but or and then you'll find Hebrews, but uh, it's towards the back of your New Testament. It's kind of getting towards the end there, and then you'll you'll see what's going on. So this is going to be a hard week, guys. It's going to be a hard week on the show. I'm just going to be straight up with you because this story, the conversation that we're, we're going to have is not going to be an easy one. Uh, and, it, and ultimately, it's going to be speaking. This verse speaks to the sufferings that we must endure, endure while we're here on this earth. Okay, We all have a story. Right? We all do. You know, I know you guys all do. You have good times, you have bad times, you have fun times, you have scary times. And a lot of times you just have a lot of boring times. That's just the way it is sometimes, right? But as believers, uh, we have to remember that even in our suffering, there's God's sovereignty. You know, we might not be able to see it, particularly we might not be able to see it in this lifetime. But as a blood-bought child of the king, we have to trust him. We do. You know, when I held my daughter and her lifeless body in my hands. I, I don't want to understand that this side of the kingdom. I, I'll never understand that. You know, why Why he chose to take her, I don't know. We still miss her so much to this day. Her name was Faith May. Go back and check out that episode where, where I talk about losing her in a quiet delivery rooms. But the reality is, guys, whether it's, it's losing uh, a child like that or, or losing a spouse or maybe just loved ones, or maybe you just lost a lot in your finances lately. Whatever it is, we are going to go through trials. And we need to understand, look, that's an opportunity to grow. God is sovereign, even in those trials. Okay, so just, just trust him. And why do we trust him? Why? Well, because he made himself lower than the angels and suffered a death crowned with the glory and honor for each one of and every one of us. Right? By his grace, he tasted death for, for all of us, for each and every one of us. And that's mind-blowing when you actually sit back and try to think about that for a minute. And it just, for me, I just look, I, I can't grab my head around it. I just can't. It's hard. It's hard to understand. So I have to go to the Word. What does John say? In, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Jesus that we profess is Lord, and I'm talking about Lord, he's the creator of all things. That's what the Hebrew writer is saying right here. Not only did he do uh, do that, but we know that he's the only path to glory. <laughs> and, so the path, and the path to salvation is through him, right? We know that. Because why? John 14, 6 tells us, when he says these words, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Unfortunately, that verse doesn't say that it's going to be easy. It doesn't. In fact, we actually, we know that if we follow him, it's going to come at a cost. It should. It it will. And all through the New Testament, you just keep reading. You hear about the sufferings that Jesus warns us about. And did you take a quick read of Acts? (laughs) And you're going to see firsthand what persecution, real life persecution looks like. So I highly encourage you to do that. We just did that in our community. uh, And we, we, we read through the entire book of Acts on our daily spiritual kickoff. And it was powerful. It was powerful just to, one, just to dig into God's word, but just to see the persecution, particularly that the Apostle Paul faced when he committed his life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and spent and devoted his life to sharing the gospel. It was not easy. I mean, it was hurdle after hurdle, beating after beating, imprisonment after imprisonment, a shipwreck. The next thing you know, you get after, you get after shipwreck after being tossed in, tossed in the sea for two weeks straight, 14 days. Gets to the land, starts a little fire with the locals there. Guess what happens? He gets bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you kidding me? Like, persecution is real. 
It's real. So you just you got have to understand that, okay? The reality is, guys, when sin entered the world, things shifted. And suffering is reality. You know, weather patterns started changing. You have all these crazy storms that you have now, right? Hatred. It doesn't have to look very far at all to see hatred just running rampant. It's crazy. Even down to the to the cellular level, cells in our bodies don't behave the way they should. That's why you get things like sickness and COVID and cancer and things like that. And then death entered the scene. Okay? And guys, you hear me talk about it all the time, about there's no pain like kid pain. And I, and I really believe that that rings true, that there's no pain like kid pain. And guys, unfortunately, that pain is something that so many, so many have to walk through. And you're just not going to reckon, I'm gonna be able to understand any of that this side of heaven. We, we won't. But we have to remember that in, in Jesus, if we have Jesus, Every tear shall be every tear will be wiped away, and the day will come when that suffering is no more. He paid that ultimate penalty, right? That ultimate sacrifice by suffering on the cross on our behalf. Okay, so think about it, on our behalf. So right now, if you if you're somewhere you can look at a mirror, maybe if you can't do that, pop open your camera app on your phone and flip it over to selfie mode, just real quick. The person that you're looking at right now, that's the person that Jesus was thinking of, thinking of when he was nailed to the cross. Now, I know this blows my mind. Hopefully, it blows yours. He was thinking of you. And it's through him that we have salvation. And the crazy part is we deserve zero of it. Zero of it. That's the beauty of his grace. That's the grace. So when we walk through these sufferings in life, they're going to happen. We have to ponder the love of the Father and how he made his son suffer that penalty for our sins. Because these trials are hard. They're real. I, I don't want to diminish it for a second, guys, for a second. What I am saying is we can survive when we turn our attention to the one who suffered the ultimate penalty for us. What Jesus did on the cross. What he did for you and I. That's that's the ultimate unleashing of the lion within right there, guys. That is it. So don't think for a second that your suffering is in vain. No. Is the pain real? Absolutely. Should you forget it? No. You should learn from it. Grow. It could lead you to an opportunity to serve others. For us and our family, we have a way to connect now with so many people who are struggling with with having kids you know we've we've walked if you've walked that path of of holding a stillborn baby in your arms beautiful beautiful baby girl you know what you could have that conversation at a much deeper level for someone else who walks through it or like us we we've walked through a miscarriage as well on top of that 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 loss is real for me personally divorce you know, separation, to, to, to be, uh, uh, to walk through that season of life is hard. So can you take that suffering and just say, you know what, that just sucks and move on? Well, yeah, you could do that. But why not say, you know what, that was hard. How can I take this and glorify him? How can I take this and point people to Jesus? That's what it's about. So your question this week, how does your suffering bring you closer to him? How does your suffering bring you closer to him? I, re- I really pray it does, guys. I really pray it does. Now, if you're talking about, well, Chris, what in the world are you even talking about? This Jesus guy and suffering and, and, and penalty for our sins. I have no clue. Well, you're in a good spot. First of all, you hung out with us this long, so I got your attention. But ultimately, what you need to understand is, guys, Every single one of us are sinners. We're not mistakers in need of a life coach. We're sinners in need of a savior. You hear me talk all the time. I, I take this from Pastor Joey because it's so good. We're, your kindergarten teacher was wrong. You're not a cupcake. You're not a snowflake. You're not a Skittle. You're a sinner in need of a savior. And you need to remember that. You need to understand that fundamental. And there's also nothing that you can do 
nothing that you can do to overcome it. You can't just be a nice guy. You can't help ladies cross the street. You can't go buy groceries or, vo- or volunteer on a weekend. And you can't just go on a mission trip. Okay. Can't just go on a mission trip or go to church on Sunday and just expect you to check the box. It's not. Because I'll tell you what, the pews are filled every week with people who are going to go, who, who will never enter the kingdom of heaven. I hate to say that, but that is ultimate truth. Don't just be a pew sitter. Admit that you're a sinner. You have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and not just a cool guy who came and did some miracles. No, he is the Son of God. He descended from his throne to put on one of these flesh suits, walk around, feel all the emotions we had, teach us that he paid the penalty for our sin on that cross at Calvary. He, he did it. He was the only way. The only thing that covered it was his perfect blood. And guess what? He paid that ultimate penalty and they put him in a tomb, but he just rented it. He just rented that bad boy. He didn't need it for, for, for a couple of days. Three days later, he's up. He's up. We do not worship a dead man. We worship a living Savior. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Then he ascended to the Father. We already talked about it earlier in John 14, 6. I am the way to truth to life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's Jesus. Jesus saying those words. They have to believe that he's the Son of God. Then you have to confess him as Lord. And I'm not talking about just Lord when you're on Sunday and you're feeling all churchy. No, every day. All day. Is the same man showing up Monday through Saturday that shows up on Sunday? Is that the same man your kids see? If it ain't, check yourself. Check it and correct it. Jesus, he has to be Lord all the time. Are you going to get always get it right? No, because we're still sinners. But you'll have the Holy Spirit, that conviction, and that will guide and direct and teach you and show you the steps, the ways that you need to lead your life. And at that point, you can start unleashing the lion within. So if you just accepted Christ as your Savior, and you just recognize, and you know what? I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Jesus is the Son of God. I confess Him as Lord. Send me an email. Support at the line within dot us. Support at the line within dot us. Why? Because I want to hook you up with some resources. I want to give you some materials that's going to help you prepare for the battle that you're in. Satan is going to come at you. He is. He's going to come at you hard. He comes at me hard every day. You know what? Some days I struggle. I just struggle with the battle. But I always go back to the word and to my father. And I know my father, one of those days where I can't fight it, he will. He's got me. Remember, he's got me. He's through all things. Everything. Everything. He is perfecter of my salvation. And he's perfecter of your salvation. And he will help you. He will serve you. He will be there with you. He is there. He is there. He is God. He is reverend. Don't lose that for a second. So guys, again, if you enjoy the spiritual kickoffs, join the community. Every, every day, Monday through Friday, we have a live spiritual kickoff. We're reading scripture. We're growing together as Christians. Guys, this is a really big part of our community. Not to mention our Ask Me Anything, our, our community events, our 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 monthly challenges. Guys, this is incredible stuff. The masterminds, the the lion lunches. Want to have lunch with us and just sit around and talk about anything that you could think of? Guys, this is what we do. We're all growing closer to Christ. We have our Bible study, our courses. All this material is there. Guys, we're in this every day because we, we recognize it's not a Sunday thing. This is an everyday thing. It's where you need to be growing in Christ. So go to the lionwithin.us. That's the lionwithin.us. Join that 30 day free trial. Try it for a month. See if you like it. See if it serves you well. But I guarantee you, if you actually show up, lean in, be vulnerable, leave fake you at home, you're going to get value out of the community. You're going to grow in your Christian walk. And, and, and who knows the steps that the Lord's going to have for you. But you have to take step one. Step one, join a community. So I hope to see you in there, guys. Give us a rating, write a review. All that stuff is is helpful. Seriously, fellas, that stuff helps more than you know. Share the episode. Can't emphasize that enough. That's how podcasts grow. I don't care what all these people talk about, about spending ads and all this stuff. The quickest way for a podcast to grow is to share it with other people. So just share it. If that's all you do, you just did the lion a solid. 
So thank you so much. So seriously, come back on for our Wednesday episode, our meat episode. It's going to be a tough one. At this point, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I haven't recorded this the, the meat episode yet. Usually I record the SKO, the spiritual kickoff, before the meat. I've been praying hard over this meat episode. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, how to best serve the guest, his story, his wife, his son, you, the listeners. And it all keeps coming back to, you know what? We just got to do what we can to always glorify God and point people to Jesus. So, guys, I pray you come back. I pray this episode serves you well. I pray this spiritual kickoff serves you well. I, I just, Hebrews, there's a lot of truth here. There's a lot of truth. And I know sometimes I feel the spirits moving, and sometimes I feel like, Chris, man, you didn't do, you, you just let it down. But in this week, I pray, guys, just, just come listen with your spiritual ears and just and just soften your heart and see what the Spirit tells you. So get after it. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you next uh, on our next episode. You guys, I just praying for you. So keep unleashing the lion within. Let me ask you a real personal question: Who are your five closest friends? Are they pulling you closer to God or further away? Now, I know some of me guys said, "Man, I ain't got five friends." You know, okay, I get it, man. It's hard. It's hard to make those true connections. So what we did at the line within us is we started a community. That community is where brotherhood happens. It's where guys come together. So guys, if, you, if you're struggling right now, if you feel a little bit isolated or alone, you need to hop in the community. You're going to find brothers there that are going to come alongside you that want to help you wherever you're at, wherever you're at, guys. Don't think you have to be some theologian to join. No, we're all just regular men who want to deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ to ultimately be the leader God intends us to be. That's what it's about. So hop over to the community. Guys, we have a lot of live events as well. So you can hop in. You can kind of just sit there and watch. You don't have to really jump in if that's not who you are right now. You hop in on a lion lunch. Maybe go to one of our Bible studies that we have going on. Maybe check out some of our courses that we have available. Or ask me anything events where we have previous guests come in and share their expertise. All this is available within the community. That is part of the membership. So if it sounds like there's something you want to start, guys, 30 day free trial, just jump in, see if it serves you. And if it does, guys, we would love to have you in our community as we're growing, we're serving, we're helping others be the leader that God intends them to be. And I know we can help you be the leader God wants you to be as well. So again, hop over to the lionwithin.us, click on Join for that 30-day free trial so you can get started today. I look forward to seeing you inside the den. 